Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am here with some more work on this um, little shabby chic journal with digitals by Joey Cardmaker. We are going to work on decorating the ephemera um, that we cut out the last time we worked on this. Um, I do have this beautiful little tag that I received and so I am going to find a place for her in here because we do have we do have quite a few little girls. That was sort of a little bit of a a sub theme that sort of revealed itself as we started working on this on this journal. So first I want to say hi and hugs to Winona. Winona sent me the most wonderful affirming message on my website and I just want to say thank you Winona. You truly made my day. So, um we're going to get started. Um, I will we'll find a place for this as we go. But um, so we have these to decorate. We were going to make pockets out of these. So we have those, but I think I might start with um, some of the collage like this. So this is going to be a fairly laid back um, video. I don't know. I, I think I may have told you yesterday that I just have been feeling a little puny. I don't know what it is. Um, just kind of headache and swollen glands. And I think I'm just, I don't know, maybe getting a cold or something. Anyway, laid back crafting is what I'm going to do today. This is going to be an interesting one. Look how kind of busy that is. I mean, this, this is some of the gorgeous paper from Shabby Dabby Doodah. But um, in terms of like putting something on it, I think we're going to need to have somewhat of a background like um oh. oh my goodness sorry guys i'm moving my my cart and it's causing me grief like a little bit of um of lace or something to kind of just maybe layer a bit on top of or something i don't know i don't know We'll get, we'll get going here. I know we will. <laughs> I have faith. Okay, so what to put on there? I might. Let's look at, is this one? Ugh. Let's look at my, um, tsunami rose I think this is yep this is my tsunami rose one there might be something kind of um you know like this or something some sort of little journal card type of thing that might be kind of fun there that's that's kind of a possibility there it's a pocket I have so many things cut out from her that it'd be fun to use something. Oh, look at this little lady. That's cute. It, somehow it just blends right in. I think I like this one because it's not as busy. It sort of calms it down a little bit, you know. I think I might want to have a little more lace showing. Okay, I think I'm going to go with that. I kind of like that. Um... Yeah, so really, I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you feel better than I do <laughs> at this point. I really hope you feel better than I do. I don't know. My poor husband, he was trying to help me print this morning, and it wasn't going well. It just kept jamming, and I'm kind of like, oh, my gosh, this is no help at all. But bless his heart, he's trying. So... I finally got it, but you know, I'm just, I'm just used to using that printer and he's not really, I put 
that there. And then I might put something on as a topper. I think that will that will work. Um, yeah, so anyway, I said I finally said it's okay, honey. Go do something else. <laughs> I'll get it. Because it doesn't do any good for both of us to stand there. I might as well do it myself, you know. Oh, goodness. So, anyway, it's been kind of one of those mornings. And my poor husband, I think he, he went to the grocery store. I think he couldn't get out of here fast enough. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, so I don't know. I think some... I think some fairly laid back crafting is what's going to happen today because what I thought I'd do, I, I haven't yet had a chance to sew these. So I think I'll decorate them first and then sew them afterwards. And um, then that'll be good. Ooh, I love the back of that one. That that turned out cool, didn't it? The various papers. So, yeah, I don't have much news. We had really, um, I did, did videos yesterday, but um, we kind of had a laid back day yesterday too because I just was just was feeling a little puny. I don't know what's going on with me. But if you're up for a little laid back crafting, that might be the next couple of days. <laughs> it might be a little laid back. Just gonna do a little on this little stamp. Okay, let us glue. So... I think I wanted that kind of about there-ish. Yeah, because I think I just want a little more lace showing than I had. <clears throat> it's a gorgeous day out today. I went out to the mailbox because I had Etsy orders. And, oh my goodness, it's just, I thought, oh, I kind of like to just maybe sit on the porch for a while. <laughs> But in the sunshine, it's nice out. Okay, kind of put that right about there ish. Hope it sticks to the lace. It will. Fabri-Tac's great that way. I'm gonna put a little Fabri-Tac on this. I might as well just do it all with Fabri-Tac, huh? <clears throat> so I'm gonna go about there with that. So I'm gonna go about right there with this. Yeah, I was contemplating perhaps painting my fingernails one day. I was like, um. I just think I should maybe that would be fun and then um, and then I thought about using Fabri-Tac and I thought nope <laughs> I'm gonna do it because the Fabri-Tac takes the nail polish right off so it's like why bother <laughs> yeah I'm finding I'm having to get into a little different rhythm, not doing happy mail anymore at the beginning of videos. It's, it's a, a just a little, it's just a little different rhythm than I'm used to. Isn't that funny? How a little change like that. Yeah, that's just kind of fun and layery. And I think that's what we need to do in this shabby chiciness is a lot of layering. And I'm thinking about maybe putting this little card in with that. We'll see how it looks. Uh, but I would like a little popper, I do believe, of some sort. Get 
this fun stuff. Maybe a bit of that with a bit of lace or something. Um, like that in back and then a little lace in the front. Would that be cute? Just a little bit of, let's see. Ooh, that's pretty lace. a little bit tall. Hmm. No, I don't think I want to use that because I don't know. It's not speaking to me. <laughs> oh, goodness. How about idea? What if we do this like that? And kind of put this in the middle like that oh I like that but I don't really want it we might have to do a little sewing guys because I don't want it with the staple I want it sewn so I'll move a few things and we'll do that I think I might just sew that. <clears throat> Sorry if the sewing machine noise bothers. Just turn down your turn down your volume for a second while we do this. Oop! Didn't do that. Okay. Okay, well that one is done done, so that's fun. Um, yeah, it's funny on the sewing, it seems like a lot of people love the sound. It reminds them of when their mom was sewing or something growing up. And there's a lot of people that don't like it too, so can't make everybody happy, I guess. Okay, I like that. that, that turned out nice. And I kind of like seeing it, so that's not where she needs to go. I'm just going to put it there. I don't have anything back there. I mean, I could stick her out the side like that. That's kind of cute, isn't it? Okay, found her a home. Found her a place to be. Okay, I wanted to sew around this. Um, and kind of put something in the middle. Um, I'm looking at my ephemera, kind of trying, you know, I think I, I think I had some things in this Tink and I Treasures book that maybe, I mean, these cute little, It's really a cute, but I'm not sure it really goes right there. Oh, it looks pretty cute. Okay, so just using some things we have. Isn't it good? Um, I'm going to go ahead and just sew this right now so it's done too. I need to distress it too, don't I?
Okay, so. So this is truly kind of just a, a craft with me, isn't it? I'm crafting away. I hope you're crafting away too. I'm gonna run out of thread in my bobbin, however. And so we might not be long for sewing anyways. But it kind of feels good to get the whole piece done. And since this has been a process video, this whole this whole journal, I guess I guess it's all good, whatever we do, right? Let's see. Let's Yeah, I'm just going to pop that right in the middle. That's just cute. Okay. I think this was one of the I can't remember. I was going to say I thought this was one of the things that was that Maxine put in the Tink and I Treasures book. She had some treasures in there already. But I can't say that for sure because I also put some other people's things in there. All right. So that little one is done. And going to go, I'm going to put the pink part up at the top like that. Okay, that's cute. Okay, we have this big boy. Holy moly, he's a big one. Okay, happy so far. Happy so far. Okay, I think I'm going to round the corners. And even though rounded corners are harder to sew around <laughs> than straight corners. But, hmm, what are we going to do on this guy? Let's figure out a plan of attack here. Um, definitely don't want to cover up him. Something right here could be fun. Let's see. What do we have for snippets and stuff. I was thinking of a label. We can always go that route, but I was thinking one of the bigger, one of my bigger uh, clusters might be nice. I do have some bigger ones. That's a cute one. <laughs> no. This one has chenille on it. That's why I gravitated toward it. Oh, look at this one. Just not the right shape, though. I want, I want one that's a little more square, if I have any. What's this one? I was almost wondering if I could tear that down. That one's a possibility. We're going to say that could be. But I obviously need to make, need to quit making them kind of in strips, although I like those for down the side of a page, but I need to make them a little, make some that are a little more square. I don't like the purple in that one. That's still my top choice. Okay. Now I have a new top choice. I think I like that one there. It's got all the colors. Okay. And then we can put like a flower or butterfly or something on that. Maybe one of... Um, Char's flowers or something, or Claudia's. Okay. Ooh, it looks even better inked. Okay, let me go around 
this. Oh, I don't know. It's only 20 after 10 in the morning and I already feel like I need a nap. How crazy is that? And especially crazy since I never take naps. <laughs> you know, as soon as my husband gets home from the grocery store, we have to go to the post office anyways. For some reason, I don't know, maybe you ladies who have Etsy shops can, can help me with this, but... For some reason, um, Etsy has not liked my international addresses. Um, it's like I can't, I can't do a, a mail label for international. It just doesn't want to do it. So I just have to write them out and then take it to the post office, which is a little bit of a pain. Okay, so I'm just going to put that right here. And then let me look here. I've got some bigger flowers from Claudia, Timeless Crochet for you. Look at that. That's really cute. Now, granted, it's going to be a little poofy for the pocket, but I think it'll be okay. Yeah, I like that. And then I'm just going to leave this part up here with the bunny and the, and the rose and everything. Yeah, I think I like that. I'm going to, it's um, fabric on the top, so I'm going to use fabric tag. Sometimes this size is just right, Claudia. Yeah, and the right colors and everything. Okay, that one we're going to call done. And it's good and thick, so I think you're going to be able to write on the back just fine. Okay, well, we still have bob and thread. We'll, we'll continue, but... Um, I think I'm going to go zigzag with this one just for fun. Poor Bunny, we zigzagged right down his nose. <laughs> Sorry, Bunny. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> right down his nose. Sorry, buddy. And a little bit in his eye. I should have just went straight stitch down there, but that's okay. Oh, goodness. Okay. So that is gonna go in here. Yeah, I think that's fine. That's where the uh, paper is doubled, so it's all good. Alrighty. It's all good. 
Okay, we've got a couple in this pocket. A couple. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering, I'm going to go back to Tsunami Rose on this one. Because I've got some bigger, bigger pieces, you know. lady this? Ooh, isn't that pretty Ooh, that's pretty right there let's do that okay let's see how we do with that um I'm feeling like it needs a little fabric or something for some texture to it. Okay, I'm needing to switch out my sponge there. Okay, so this goes like this. Oh, we have to we have to stamp kind on there, don't we? Whenever asked the question, what's your most used stamp, I would have an easy answer, wouldn't I? <laughs> yep, there it is. And my kind stamp is a 2007 Stamping Up. Don't know if it's available or not. Maybe on eBay or something. Okay, what are we gonna do about, now the sewing will add some texture, right? The sewing around it. Let's see and think. I mean, I certainly could put more lace. That's Lace is a big deal when it comes to the shabby chic kind of thing. And I didn't put lace on the pages of this one because I just didn't feel like, I just didn't feel it. I wasn't feeling the lace on the edge of the pages. So lace on the, these will be good. Um, What do I have here that might be? Hmm, let me get this one off if I can, if I can find the, there it is. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I think I'm going to sew around it first before putting that down. Because the lace is going... I don't want to sew the lace particularly on this one. So, let's get my, my arm exercise, getting the sewing machine back and forth, huh? I'm going to do straight stitch on this one. Side. I was looking somewhere else. <laughs> oh yeah, so you know how you fix that is you go around again and you intentionally crazy stitch. So 
So it'll look like we did that on purpose. Just wiggling it this way and that, trying to not go right over the top of my other stitching. I'll show you if I can. I don't know if you're going to be able to see. I think you will. Oops. I went ahead and flipped off a little of my card there. Got a little crazy with my skizzers. Okay. Okay, so if I can show you. Um, see, I went off right there. So then I just went around again and just did crazy stitching. So it looks like that was intentional. Everything can be fixed, right? That's our that's our mantra. Everything can be fixed. No such thing as a mistake. Oh, there's the part that I cut off. I was wondering where it went. Okay. So I'm going to put that on there. And then it's just kind of going to be a bit of a hint of the background showing through and I'm not all that crazy about the background anyway so it worked out I mean it's not anything that I'm worried about covering up I guess is what I should say Okay. All right, so now we've got that done. We'll just let that sit out and dry. And then we have this one for that as well. Hmm, what to do on this one? I'm feeling a little thin lace right there, perhaps. Uh, like, like this. Maybe. Or something a little lacier. Let's see. Where's that one? This one got the little flowers that could be cute right there yep that's the one that would be it I don't know what else I'm gonna do to this one but I just thought those little Posies would be a bit fun. Okay, my stomach's growling. But I'm not hungry. What's that mean? <laughs> okay, so that's kind of cute. <clears throat> How about... like a word or something. I mean, I've got I've got this. Let's look at Jolene's words from a jewel design. Let's see there's some these bigger ones. That's cute right there, isn't it? Delightful. Oh, 
Okay. Kind of forgot to ink it. I got all excited about putting some lace right there. thinking and thinking of what else do we want to do on this, if anything. I need to snip off the lace slightly on the edges. Too, don't I? Oh, husband's back from the store. That's all right. We'll wait like about 20 minutes before going to the post office. I need my hair to dry anyway. <laughs> Did one of those quick shower and okay, I have an idea. Let's get this down. I do kind of like the children as the focal point, and they're from my playtime of yesteryear digi kit. Delightful. Okay. Then what I'm wondering is would I want to do um one of Char's flowers on here. This one seems like it's just like the perfect. I was thinking of putting it at the top. Covers up the word, but that's okay. Yeah, I think I might put that at the top. Okie dokie. Good deal. About halfway down here. My husband got some good treats at the grocery store today. Oh boy. It's probably not good because um, I have gained back all the weight that I lost when I had surgery. <laughs> Yeah, what are you going to do? Okay, I think that's cute. I mean, this is kind of blank here, but it's really part of the picture, so I think it's okay. All right, we're going to call... Oh, I got to sew around that, don't I? Should have maybe done that before putting the flower on, but we'll just see if we can just get her done anyway. I'll just go on the side of the flower and... I think I have enough thread in the bobbin. We'll see. Okay. Oh, that's stuck on the flower. completed. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't have to be too complicated. Just a couple of things. Okay, so that's super cute there. 
This looks great right here. All right, so that's done. Well, we've got a few things to do here. So all this needs to be is inked and um, I'm, I'm debating, do I want to sew it together or leave that for a little journaling spot? I think I might leave it for a journaling spot. Because I love that myself when I'm journaling to find something fun to that's different to write on besides the page. <laughs> Just do all the edges, huh? So I wonder if my husband's thinking, boy, I hope she's in a better mood now. <laughs> now that I've been gone for a little while. Oh, oh, it just makes me so cranky when the printer doesn't work right, you know? And it, it rarely messes up, but... Um, I think he had too thick a paper in it, probably. That's what it was. That's okay. I really do so much appreciate his willingness to help, you know. Okay, we're just going to do these little edges. So then it'll be fun on the inside when somebody goes to journal in it. Okay. All right. Then we did that. <sighs> so let's just fold it up. We'll just fold it up and put it back in the um, back in the pocket. Okay, back in the pocket. Now these two. Once again, this little girl. I don't want to cover up. She is doing her music lesson with her music teacher. She's doing the violin. Have I ever told you that my son played the violin in middle school? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it was very hard to encourage him to practice. <laughs> oh, jeez. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I think he only did it for one year. It wasn't his cup of tea. And I was going to say we're not very musical in my family, which is true, except for his son who can sing like an angel. Um, my, other, my granddaughter can sing too, but she's just not interested in it. She's the one, Addie, that does sports. So she, she has a real pretty voice too, but... She doesn't work at it like my grandson does. My grandson takes voice lessons and all of that jazz. Okay, so I'm thinking about one of those up and down words again. And um, and that's it, really, on that one, probably. Okay, what I want is... Is there a beautiful... I thought I saw a beautiful... So I think if I put that like right there, that will be really cute. I might could put something in the corner down there too. I'm not sure what. A number maybe? I think. So thanks for hanging out and crafting with me with my little laid back day of tag decoration. Okay, that's good. <clears throat> what would we like here? I mean, I could do a flower, but um, He 
these are some stamps that I had done. And I'm wondering if there's a little, like just a little something here. I kind of like that. And then we'll put something on the top, some sort of topper. This, um, these were strips that were uh, taken off, um, I think they were the blank part of um, a digital or something. And so I tore off the strip and then I just stamped on it to make some little ephemera. Yep, I think I'm going to do that. It's okay if I cover up her foot a little bit. Okay, and then what would we like on the top? What could we do? Oh. New, new, and new. That. No. This little piece. Kind of pretty, I think. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and sew it. Let's do this thing. My glue's in my way. Oh. Just want to shove that back a little bit. Okay, and I'm just gonna do a straight stitch on this because I just really want to see. What's I want the paper to be the star of the show, not the stitching. Isn't it just... So awesome to have the um, collage pages because you can whip up some pretty quick ephemera. And such a great way to use up scraps, I feel like, too. All right, another tag done. Ugh. Another one, another one in the book. So we'll put that down in here. Ooh, I like how that turned out. Really love that page. Okay, little tiny tag. Um, let's sew around it super quick here. And then I think this will be our last little page, really, for this video. Right. Then if we do a topper or anything, we'll either um, staple it or glue it. one or the other. Okay, I'm going to turn off my sewing machine because we're going to go to the post office. Okay, I think I could have a just a nice little washi flower up that that would just be cute. Like, actually, that's just really cute. That was the first page. <laughs> just a little something to decorate it. Nothing, nothing too complicated. 
just a little flower. Just like that. I'm actually just going to leave that just as is. I think that's cute. And um, I'm really liking how this looks. So I'm going to go back that way because I want the little girl to show. Okay, so we're on to this. So we're nearly... Well, we are halfway there. We are a little over halfway there. Okay. So, going to start next time with this and do the back half of the book, which, oh, and we still have these to do too. So, I think one more video and we might have this journal done. It, it feels like it's taken a while, but I don't know. I guess I've done other things in between is why, but, um, but I'm loving it. It's, it is a super fun journal. These papers came from Antique Papery. I, um, I asked and Linda sent me this. She's from LLL Angel. And um, I said, where the papers come from? I love the papers. Antique papery. There we go. Okay, guys, I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you all have a great full day. We'll see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.